So to start off this episode guys, I figured I would hop in and just show you my difficulty settings here in Forza Horizon 4 just to kind of show you guys like a starting point and then as the series goes on we're going to change these, make it more difficult and everything and, and change the drive retard difficulty as we go. Just to keep it competitive, right? We don't want to just be like losing right off the start, like we got to keep it balanced, alright? So we're going to start off with the drive retard difficulty on above average and then ABS is going to be on, so we have that set to on. Steering is going to be normal, traction control and stability control are both going to be off. Shifting is going to be manual, so we're going to be doing the shifting. The driving line is going to be off. Damage and tire wear is going to be cosmetic only. And then rewind is going to be off. So a race is a race. We're not going to be able to go back in time and kind of redo a corner or anything. Like the race is the race. How it plays out is how it plays out. So that is that. I thought I would just, you know, show you guys that to start off the video. And if you guys remember back to last episode, we started off just by doing the first race, the initial introduction race. And now we're here in the festival, the first festival that you get to see. And it's so colorful, man. This place is un real we have two races to do if we come into the map here and check this out we have two races to do we have this one and this one so that's what we're doing in this episode if you guys enjoy at any point in time smash that thumbs up and let's get into the racing So basically our homegirl Rebecca was just telling me that we have to start off slow, we gotta win these races, do good in these races, and then she's gonna find more races for us to do, and by the end of it, we can be that top dog winning the top events. So I think we're just gonna, you know, hop into it. No need to waste time looking at pointless things, let's just get into the racing, you know? <laughs> let's go, here we go. It's really cool that it actually uses like your friends as racers, but I know my friends don't actually play this game, so, uh, misleading, that's clickbait, dog. Okay, I'm trying to ride smooth, ride smooth, drive smooth, drive smart. I don't want to be crashing into things everywhere. And that's one thing about this series, is I would rather learn to drive in this game, learn to actually, yeah, see, like, I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be doing that stuff. I would rather learn to drive and control my car than, oh no, what did I do? photo mode no way guys i found it if you remember back to last episode i could not find photo mode but here it is that is crazy i can't believe i found it i was honestly just trying to change my camera like i feel like the camera is just like a little too close to the car but one thing i want to do in this series is i want to keep it competitive like i don't want to just be able to absolutely destroy the drive guitars but i want to be able to learn to race Clean. I want to be able to race clean and not crash into things like every two seconds like I think that's that's my main goal for the series and eventually we're gonna be doing fun episodes with challenges and car challenges and weird things like that and time trials and different things but to start off I just want to bring you guys some gameplay so you guys can actually ah we're gonna hit the wall so you guys can actually see what horizon 4 has the offer but it looks like already we're gonna have to up the difficulty like this is just a little a little too easy <laughs> so i can't lie we may have hit a few walls but that race was just like a little too easy a little too easy so we're gonna have to up that difficulty we uh, absolutely destroyed them even with the mistakes even with the mistakes and the harder i make the difficulty it's gonna like force me to race smooth and race smart so Let's go to the next event, man. Cleaning up here in race number one. This is cool how they've made it like a game show almost. Like it, it's totally different rather than you just winning a race and looking at leaderboards. Like you get to actually see results and stuff. I don't know. This is cool. This is cool. So we've just been introduced to Anna, who is our navigation assistant. We now found out about the radio stations, which I already knew about. But they told us about those. I have it off for copyright purposes you know ain't trying to get those strikes we're heading on to race number two race number two our second race in forza horizon 4 everything seems to load a lot quicker which is really really good they seem to have found a way to almost like optimize the game so that it runs 
just smoother it runs faster like i barely had to wait for that to load in at all usually you'd be sitting here on the loading screens for a while but it seems like they've really you know caught up to the the gaming industry with their loading screens like you're not sitting here waiting for the loading screens it, it's it's good now i've went ahead and i've changed the difficulty here from above average to highly skilled so hopefully it is a little more challenging and we actually have to like focus and, and try a little bit like that last race yeah we didn't we didn't win by too much but like i was hitting walls i wasn't even really trying and and we won so i want it to be a challenge There's only one way to learn, and I think the way to learn is by challenging myself, you know, doing these hard races where I actually have to work for the win, you know, finishing third, finishing second, finishing fifth, whatever it takes to learn to drive smooth, to drive smart, and then that speed will just kind of come naturally, right? Like, that's one thing I've kind of learned with racing games, like, you have to learn how to drive, and then the speed really just comes naturally after that. So the tortoise in the hair, driving smooth, always, it always ends up being better than rushing things, crashing, hitting walls, missing corners, trust me. It always works out being better. We have a tight switchback section through here as we max out third gear, I think. Did I miss that checkpoint? Nope, I got it. I got it. I'm hoping that's one thing they may have fixed. The checkpoints, they, they are pretty tight sometimes. They're pretty tight. They're not lenient at all. They don't give you any room to miss them. And maybe they've fixed that. Maybe they've kind of went ahead, looked at how they can like make the racing scene a little better and, and kind of improve on that. Maybe they've went ahead and, you know, given us a little bit of a boundary to work with on these checkpoints. Did we hit that wall? I hope we didn't. Have I hit any walls? I think I have, actually. I was gonna say no, but then I look down at my car and it's like all smashed up in the booty, you know? So I don't know where where we hit a wall, but we did, we did, sadly. 86% done. And it's not like we're absolutely gone from second place, but like we got a decent little lead for, for that race. Like we're, we're winning pretty easily. So race number two, guys, you guys saw it here first first place once again that's awesome this game big big things are happening with this game I, I i can't deny it i can't deny it forza is just one of those like iconic names within the gaming industry at this point like it's a triple a title and you know every game they drop is going to be good now the forza games like you have forza motorsport and those games are fairly similar from you know year to year and then these games the horizon games are fairly similar from year to year but so far the changes the little things that i've seen that have changed within forza horizon 4 like this is gonna be this is gonna be unreal and i cannot wait to see what the whole game has to offer now i just heard her mention something about autumn and i missed it because i was babbling but are we heading into autumn already? Wow, you really are the image of Frankie Beaumont. Sorry, Joel Carter, Horizon Driver Relations. Now, do I have an opportunity for you? There's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver. Short notice, I know, but what do you say? Meet me here ASAP, and I'll introduce you to Mike Steele. He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. So the guy I was actually just talking to there, or the guy we actually just met, works for Horizon, quote unquote, for the Horizon, driver relations so he works with the drivers to get them to do different things and stunts and put them here and there and gets them to do work right he gets them the, the things that they need to do so he just actually offered us a position to be a stunt driver for a movie so we're going to be famous and that's going to happen in next episode so if you guys want to see us become famous us become a movie star make sure to click that subscribe button become a member of the goon squad so that you guys never miss an upload and that will be next episode we're going to be becoming a movie star a killer start to the series so far it's been a ton of fun and we're gonna have to work on fine-tuning those difficulties because so far it's been a little too easy so smash that thumbs up if you did enjoy and i will catch you guys all in the next episode peace out